So understanding the differences in the way that carbon behaves in fossil fuel uh, production versus agriculture is really critically important and is quite honestly the main confusing factor in these conversations that we're having about livestock's contribution to, to global warming. The carbon cycle in fossil fuels is not a cycle at all, right? It is simply taking fossilized carbon from underground and burning it and putting it into the air. It is a one-way highway of adding carbon dioxide to our environment. It's fairly simple and very simple to model from a scientific basis. Now, the problem is that simplicity is then applied to animal production, which becomes a problem because animal production is part of a carbon cycle. The carbon cycle is simply the way that carbon moves through the system. We cannot simply measure the carbon coming out of the animals because we're not measuring the carbon that was going in in the first place. And we're not measuring the rest of the ecosystem, which is also absorbing carbon as a consequence of having those cattle on the land. So let's start with photosynthesis because that's probably the most important part of this process. That's what keeps you and me alive every day. So plants photosynthesize carbon dioxide into carbohydrates. Uh, that is the source of all the energy that we all eat on Earth. Um, those plants are then fed to cows. Uh, the cows digest that, that energy, turn a lot of it into useful products. In the process of that, carbon dioxide and methane are produced. Most of the carbon that was in the plant in the first place comes out of the rumen as carbon dioxide and a small fraction of that carbon comes off as methane. Now that's the one we're worried about, obviously. Uh, but what a lot of people don't consider is that that methane only hangs around in the environment for about 10 to 12 years. It is then broken down in the atmosphere and returns as carbon dioxide. So again, there is no net contribution of carbon to the system in that process. The reason why there's a lot of focus on methane uh, or the reason why there should be a lot of focus on methane is that methane when you remove methane from the environment, you actually cause a cooling effect. When you remove the production of CO2 from the environment, the warming from the existing CO2 stays. When you remove methane from the environment, the warming from that methane goes down. This is the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration data on greenhouse gas. If you go into that data set and you actually zero it out when the data set started, which was in the late 70s, you can see that almost the entirety of the change in global warming since the mid to late 70s is because of carbon dioxide. It's not methane, it's not CFCs, it's not any of those other ones. The entirety of the change since industrial times is as a result of CO2 